Hi, I'm Mark Bosner from the Cypress College Public Information Office. Welcome to this edition of the At Cypress Channel. Okay. All right, we're on, on the set of the Bo Stratagem with uh, a couple of the actors, and uh, this is Sal and Kayanya. Kayanya. Close? It's close. <laughs> I'm trying. It's close. <laughs> I know, it's hard. And uh, we open up this week. Tell me a little bit about the show. Well. Well. <laughs> um, it's about two rakish fellows. Yes, two gentlemen. Two, are we going to do our accents? Um, two gentlemen. Sure. Two gentlemen who squander their fortunes, and they decide, <laughs> once they run out of money, to go out of town and mm, find women to seduce and marry into their money. Rich women. Yes. And um, my character, Thomas Aimwell, um, accidentally falls in love with Dorinda, and then shenanigans ensue. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the best thing you're, uh, to do if you're trying to swindle someone. No. Not at all. No, it's, no. it's a huge wrench in the machine if you do, if you <laughs> fall in love with someone you're trying to steal money from. That's but. so lovable. <laughs> <laughs> is this your first production here at Cypress College? Um, it's my first and a half. Well, uh, no, it was, I was in Little Shop of Horrors, but I was the puppeteer for the plant of Audrey II. I didn't have any face time. I was just in a puppet <laughs> the entire time. So Very that's nice. why it's only half. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. And how about you? Yes, it's my first production here, or anywhere. <laughs> it's my first production ever. So. Very nice. I should say break a leg. Yes, break a leg. I might, <laughs> as you shall see. <laughs> I understand we have uh, some sword fighting, comedy. Oh, yes, we do. Lot, um, yeah, we have a giant sword fighting scene where um, I take on three men, three men by myself, and then, then there's uh, three pairs of people sword fighting. fighting. And then um, I can lots tie of around the neck and do some yes, beating. It's lovely. Action, choreography. It's, it's ridiculous. It's really just <laughs> so. It's fun. It's really yeah. you know, over the top. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I understand. You uh, have a scene for us. I'm ready. But first, my lord. One word. I have a frightful example of a hasty marriage in my own family. When I reflect upon it, it shocks me. Pray, sir, consider a little. Consider. Do you doubt my honor or my love? Neither. I do believe you equally just as brave, and were your whole sex drawn out for me to choose, I should not cast a look upon the multitude if you were absent. But, my lord, I'm a woman. Colors, concealments may hide a thousand faults in me. Therefore, know me better first. I hardly dare affirm I know myself in anything except my love. Such goodness who could injure. I find myself unequal to the task of villain. She has gained my soul and made it honest like her own. I cannot, cannot hurt her. <laughs> Doctor, retire. Madam, I am no lord, but a poor, needy man, come with a mean, a scandalous design to prey upon your fortune. But the beauties of your mind and person have so won me from myself that I, like a trusty servant, prefer the interest of my mistress to my own. Pray, sir, who are you? Brother, to the man whose title I usurped, but stranger to his honor or his fortune. Matchless honesty! Once I was proud, sir, of your wealth and title, but now I am prouder that you want it. Doctor, come in. You gotta come see the rest. Yeah. Close us out with uh, kind of a, a 30 second sales pitch for folks to come see the show. Um, okay. right. Bedroom scenes and lingerie and lots Seizures, of money. Fainting. Fainting, romances, interrogations. <laughs> um, sword fights. Yeah, sword fights. Um, lots oh, what of else? Fan play. Lots of fans, lots of handkerchiefs, Art, moving, moving about. dialects. And then our main cast. Oh yes, wonderful people. Fun. Everyone's giving it to their all and you will love it. And I guarantee you, 